one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought mushrooms are only supposed to spread to have five mushrooms in an area. Huh. Can you hear that? You hear my dog, Bowser, scratching? Hi, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Um, yeah, so we're in the nether, climbing up to the gold farm. Gonna do some work. At least try. Here we are at the gold farm. And we're on the, uh, we're on the, the kill platform. And I've, I've, I'm playing around with a couple thoughts of, hey, let's, uh, how can I, where am I going to put the sorting system? <laughs> uh, so if I put it up one level up here, I can actually get to the chest easily and keep the chest covered. Not that there's going to be a chest here long term, right? That's going to turn into a hopper line going off to connect the four collection areas. Uh, this, this here, the chests are just temporary. Oh, look. Oh, there's some gold. Uh, oh, I bet somebody was here using the gold farm. Very good. And they didn't realize that there were collections or... Uh, okay, that's fine. More gold. Very nice. Okay, so obviously we'll, we need to filter out the golden swords and everything. So I need to make a decision here. Do I do I put it up here where I can, I can work more easily? Or do I put it down here where it kind of looks cooler but... No one's going to spend any time on this platform. Except for the stupid magma cubes. Hi, dude. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing? Whoa. Why did that not hit? There we go. So, huh. Uh, this is going to be a bigger pain in the butt to actually deal with, to actually build. Because then I've got to dig away the glass, put in the thing, blah, 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 but it looks nicer. Hmm. It looks nicer. I don't know. This will be a lot easier to work with, though. Let's try this. Now, I need to do some stuff. Um, let's put the gold up here temporarily. And the zombie flesh. Free gold, free zombie flesh. And I need more uh, I need more slabs than that. I need a lot more slabs than that. Uh, so here's my thought. I'm going to pillar up. Uh, up. I'm going to build little drop shoots for these guys to fall. And see if they will stay inside the drop shoots under normal circumstances. They do not... Uh, stay there when they fall just free form because they will come off the front of the platforms but if you're if you're down here they'll come off the sides and everything but I don't think that's a big deal and in theory I should be able to get them into this little three by three here so let's uh not put a torch there let's uh let's pull her up Oh, how do I do this in, how do I do this in, uh, in survival easily without getting myself killed? Okay. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. 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 Now, I don't want to build a solid thing all the way down. I have a bunch of these slabs. And, uh, yeah, how do I do this? I don't want these here. Hang on a second. Let me sort this out and let me, let me figure out what I'm doing. Because this ain't it. Okay. I think I got this figured out. Um, yeah. Ugh, this would be so much easier with, with Elytra. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I want the, oh, careful there, don't, 
get yourself killed. Yeah, so I think this would be... Um, I don't want these at the top of the slab. I want to put slabs around like this. Boop, boop, ah. Okay. Um, take three. There we go. That's how we do it. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do. Drop shafts like this. I was thinking about doing it with glass, which uh, would be visually interesting but this should work i i guess i don't really need to go every block do i let me look at this and see if i can get it to look right if i take out these Oh, slabs. Will this work? So that's a block and a half in between. The little babies potentially could fit there. I don't know if that would be a problem. Let's, uh, let's find out. Oh, I want those slabs back. <clears throat> and done. Okay. Huh. Does this work okay? Yeah, I guess so, because if any pigment just whatever reason happened to fall here they'll get trapped in and they won't be able to walk out because it's only a block and a half tall yeah okay so i gotta replace this uh the pillar um uh, it's not critical i do it right now let's go let's go do a little test and see how this works i, mean, I think it'll work it's no reason it shouldn't i know they're pigment up there because i hear them grunting and groaning uh, and then if, uh, if this works, all I got to do is go back and do the other three and then start working on the, uh, on the, the whole sorting system. And do I, do I route everything into a single sorting system? Cause I definitely need to sort out the swords. Um, and then, <sighs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hang on a second. Um, how do I get over there? there safely um, yeah that's that's not that's not my definition of safely here hang on a second oh man and I've got a freaking endermite somewhere here okay block hello and Oh, where's the Endermite? The Endermite's over there. Screw you, Endermite. Um, look at this. Uh, is this the best? Is this the best angle of this? No, of course not. Okay, let's get a screenshot of that. Thank you, VexFX. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh shoot. How do I? I don't even know how I do this. I don't want to die up here. <sighs> Running low on ender pearls. Okay. And we're going to have to deal with that uh, endermite. <sighs> Wait, and after all that, I didn't even get rid of the freaking flower pot. Okay, let's, uh, let's deal with this. I wonder how he did that. I mean, he must have just pillared up and... And uh, and placed it. I I put a flower pot in his castle uh, on a ledge that needed some some greenery. It needed it needed some flowers. I I was helping to decorate. I wasn't continuing our little uh, very silly, very stupid uh, prank war. The War of the Roses. Dang. Can I get those? Thank you. Hi. Never mind me. I'm not here. You didn't see me. Okay. Since I'm up here, let's uh, let's take care of this.
And done. All right. Let me just send it up in there. Cool. Now we have a flower pot and a flower that we can go place somewhere in Vex FX's base. <sighs> because, you know, he just needs more greenery. It's a very cold, you know, castle sort of space. That's, uh, that's not... Oops. In case that Endermite is still up here. No, he despawned. All right. Very good. Um... Hello. Okay. So, what we learned from the Minecraft science thing is to get take advantage of the looting, I have to switch to it. Sorry about the, the noise. So, these guys are all going to fall down through my little shaft. Oh. Little baby on the ledge. Okay. So, maybe I do need to replace this all with glass. Ah. <sighs> might look better anyway that's fine and if I go back down here the little baby might actually jump off as well but he might not die so let's uh, be prepared for that whoa oh I hate my internet okay yeah see little baby up there he might fall on my head and kill me we're lagging badly Oh, come on. Oh, lovely. Now we're back here. Uh, I hate my internet. I'm the, This is the only computer running in the house right now. When I got the internet back working, it kind of made sense that we had uh, all the devices in the house that were like, Oh, hey, look, we got internet again. Let's go update. Oh, we got two little babies up there. Are we going to pick up here? Yeah, okay. I'm worried about those guys jumping down and trying to wreck me. They might not be aggro anymore. And notice how some stuff is falling falling off the pad, and this chest is not full, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, chest is not full. So, whoa. Yeah, and see, they'll run off the side to try and get me. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's repair up our stuff and then uh, I'll run down below to get rid of all the uh, the aggro pigmen. And. Hey, hey, pick up. Your inventory is not full. Come on, pick up. Ha 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 ha. Tried to get me. Too fast for you. One thing that this did prove is the height that I have these guys here is sufficient enough to kill all the pigmen as they fall. So that's uh, that's a fine discovery. Hey, cooperate. So that little uh, leg spike that I had there, uh, where I got rubber banding on the uh, the ladder, that's how I died. Time number 10. Um, I was on the platform here, there was a gargantuan leg spike, and all the pigmen uh, were waiting, and then they, uh, <laughs> then they decided to all fall at once. Um, or the server decided to play catch up. And I think it's largely just the number of entities that I have here. Um, I just don't think my internet connection has, I think there's just too much latency going on periodically to support more than, you know, five, 600 or fewer than that, I guess, uh, entities. So I need to, uh, I need to do something about that. I need to figure out how we're going to upgrade my internet. What was that? I think those are the neighbors. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, 
that hurt. Oh, thank goodness it's daytime. Okay, so why do I need uh, why do I need to upgrade the gold farm suddenly? Well, because I'm starting to build beacons all over the place. Uh, including this one here, which is going to be a lighthouse. I'm going to build a lighthouse here so that people sailing from Spawn Island out over here, like people first time on the server, can come out and they'll, they'll be able to see this and it'll come up through the middle of a lighthouse. I'm just going to do the basic standard lighthouse design, um, but it's going to be right here. I have green glass in there now, or lime green glass in there now, just because I figure green is a good welcoming friendly like come here sort of color um the white lighthouse is going to be red and white so just traditional lighthouse uh so maybe the beam needs to be red when i get done i don't know uh but i buried you know it takes two over two and a half stacks of gold blocks to set up a full beacon and you see here i've got uh resistance and regen on which I figure is a good thing for somebody showing up their first time. Maybe they don't have armor and they get into a little scuffle. So they get a little regen action and maybe the uh, scuffle hurts a little bit less. Eh. Um, we can change it to whatever though. It's beacons right down there. And I have one more beacon that I haven't even placed anywhere. I'd like to figure out where to place it at my base, which you can see right up there. Woohoo! hoo um, I got a big tall tree, but I don't know quite where to put it. And and what to do with it. But I want more beacons, so I will use my newfound knowledge of the looting thing to go in, and when I'm hunting uh, wither skeletons, I will use my looting sword. I do have a, a Smite 5 looting 3 sword, and I will use that uh, on the, the wither skeletons. Uh, just won't be able to one-shot them, and if there are zombie pigmen nearby, I have to be careful. So anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on there. I'm going to continue to work on the gold farm collection system when I get that all built up. I have to go get some glass and uh, some dye. Let's get away from this portal. Super noisy. And uh, so yeah, so I'll, I'll do that. I'm probably going to do blue glass uh, in the, uh, the drop because that'll match the glass at the top of the farm and it'll contrast with the yellow. And I need to get out of here because it's turning dark. Although we have this area pretty well lit up. And there are beds in here that I could use to sleep in to pass the night. But we're not going to because we're ending the video here. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. This is Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye. One of the problems with trying to play a prank on VaxFX is that he's always online. But he's not here right now. Although notice my... Uh, let me show you something. Beacon. All right. Um, he built out this little uh, storage area downstairs. This is his castle. It's getting, it's big. It's getting impressive. There's a uh, glass dome on top of it. And notice how my, my pings get really bad over here. And you hear that racket. We built a chicken cooker and there's over 200 chickens in there. We're gonna have to do something about that. Um, of course, it'll take care of itself under 1.11. Most of the chickens will uh, just die. But uh, yeah, this this is a little ridiculous. And nobody needs this much nether wart. Anyway, but I have an idea. Since he's not here, Beacon is down here underground. Just in case he shows up. His beacon's down here. Uh, he's been digging out this area. Again, this isn't a prank. It's really barren down here. You could use some decoration. And I just happen to have a flower. There you go. All right. Just a little, uh, little update. That's it. And uh, we'll see how long that lasts. We'll uh, check in on it from time to time. Uh, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye. 
Hey everybody, this is Theron. Um, little update. So I, I replaced one of the little drop shoots surrounded with glass. And I think the pigmen have burned themselves out, which is good. There's a bunch of entities down there, 500 some. Um, but hopefully I can actually get down and get off the ladder. Uh, one nice thing about having the collection system in place is it should actually help with the entity count because all I have to do here is come and pick up the experience like so and uh, where'd you come from and then uh and then I, I oh hello ah ha, ha. and then I can come here and pick up these guys, um, and again it'll it'll deal with I won't have to worry about swords laying on the ground and and other drops laying around on the ground because the swords I'll just route off and uh, and burn in lava and uh, the rest of everything else will end up in chests, so I don't have to worry about picking it up before it despawns, and all I have to do is figure out the experience. And if I can come up with some way of bouncing the experience up to the platform up there, that will be nice. Uh, it should be it should be doable. I've got plenty of slime blocks now, thanks to the slime farm. So that should be, should be doable, and this should just make the whole thing much more manageable, and should reduce the, uh, the entity count, which will help my internet connection, although I seem to be the, uh, the uh, the rare case here. Nobody else seems to have problems with high any counts on the server causing network latency. But whatever. Uh, so anyway, so uh, this worked really well. It was nice and neat. And uh, the swords laying off to the side there. I threw those there. So we will not worry about those. They are not part of the test. Yeah, and what we got here nice so i think this worked pretty well just wanted to do that little update um and uh there you go so once again thank you for watching and i will see you next time and hopefully i will have the rest of these built i have to move this down one block and build the rest should be pretty straightforward i need more glass i like this blue glass against the the, the nether in the background because it practically disappears but you can just barely see it and it's nice against the purple and again that's what i have up on top so there we go i have some but i have to go make more um but that's it thank you i will see you later bye